What's up guys and welcome back to a new video, which will be a topic that we already covered, but it will be more deeper, which is validation in Larva Nova. Quick pause. Do you want to support the channel and want me to continue on creating content? Well, you can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits such as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link can be found in the description down below. When building applications, you do want to have more validation than just making fields required. Nova allows you to attach the same rules as you might use when creating form validations in Laravel itself. If we navigate back to PHP Storm, you can see that we haven't really added validation right here since a brand can be created with the same exact name. Obviously, the best possible way is by adding it inside your migration and sending a better error message to the user once they try to create a new brand that already exists. Bear with me. Let's remove the required method that we have right here on our text field of name. Then we could chain the rules method to it, where we could add rules from the validator. So let's say that our name should be required. It has a maximum of 255 characters, and it needs to be unique on the table brands. This all looks familiar, right? Let's navigate back to the browser and let's create a new brand right here with a name that we already have. So let's say Apple. The website URL is HTTPS, apple.com, industries, electronics, and the status is checked. Let's click on create. And right here, you'll see that we have been prompted with an error message right under our input field saying that a name has already been taken. Now the issue that we have with the rules method is that it applies for updating as well. If we navigate back to our brands overview and try to edit Microsoft, try to edit the website URL to let's say adidas.com and click on update, you'll see that we're being prompted with an error message since we said that the title should be unique. Nova offers you to define a rule when a resource is being updated, which happens through the update rules method. So let's navigate back. And let's keep the same rules that we have right here for now. And let's chain the update rules method to it. Right here, we should apply rules whenever a resource is being updated. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to make sure that the name is unique on the table brands, comma, name, comma, and based on a global resource ID. So let's say resource ID. Now, before the update rules works, we need to make sure that we remove our third parameter inside our rules method because we have duplication right now. Navigate back, replace the name to Apple, click on update. You'll see that the name has already been taken, has been prompted to us, which is all right. But if we change it to Microsoft, click on update. You'll see that our brand has been updated. The name is just equal to Microsoft, which it was but the website URL has been updated right here. Now the same logic can be implemented when you want to create a new brand. So let's navigate back to our resource overview, create a new brand, and we don't want to give a user the option to create a new brand with the same name. So what we could do is navigate back, go right below our update rules method, define the creation rules method, which basically accepts the same rule. So it needs to be unique on the table brands, the column name needs to be checked, based on the resource ID. If we try to create a new brand right now, let's say with the name of Apple, the website URL is HTTPS, colon, colon, apple.com, industries, electronics, and the status is checked. Create another. You'll see that the name has already been taken, has been prompted to us. But if we change it to, let's say, Adidas, which we don't have, let's say clothing as an industry, create, and you'll see that the brand has been created. Now let's clean it up a little bit since I usually don't use it for simple input fields. Now this was it for this short episode where we dived into some added... Now this was it for this short video where we dived into some additional validation in Laravel Nova. In the next video, we're going to dive into authorization in Nova. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.